Hey YouTube, uh, I was real shocked to see the uh, the Brexit um, vote succeeded. Uh, you know, as well as I think a lot of other people, including the the Prime Minister himself, who who called it. You know, he he uh, he didn't expect that at all. And uh, you know, I can see the the good sides of it and the bad side sides of it. I mean, uh, you know, living in the United States, working in construction having to compete with, uh, immigrants. It's not really cool. You know, when, when it's like driving down your wages and, and everything like that. At the same time, I can also see how it could, uh, severely weaken the UK. You know, uh, I think a lot of the people that, that voted, uh, Brexit are living in the past. I mean, I can say this, like living there myself and I was, uh, in the British army and, uh, you know, a lot of people, they still think that uh, Britain has this huge influence in the world. And I mean, it still somewhat does, but they, you know, they believe the British army is superior to the American army. They believe that, uh, you know, that there's still some like huge uh, imperial power. You know, they, they even called like I'm from Canada. They called me a colonial. You know, I got bullied a lot over there. There's, you know, a huge, it's almost like an inferiority complex towards the United States. They, they still kind of feel like... Uh, you know, they, they should have that influence and power. And I think a lot of it, the vote, they didn't really think through uh, what they were doing. You know, I think in England, the UK, it really doesn't manufacture that much stuff anymore. You know, just being on their own, isolated like that, I can't see how it can really be uh, good for them. But like I'm saying, I can see both sides of it. But uh, the thing I've, uh, I've been reading is that uh, ever since they, uh, they voted that uh, a lot of people have been going around um, telling people, you know, Muslims and Polish, like now it's time to go home. And uh, I'm pretty sure you're gonna see, you know, violence against uh, immigrants. And uh, basically it all ties into a lot of the uh, other videos that I've done. If you watched um, my videos in the past, that multiculturalism is a failed, failed experiment, that there's race wars coming. It just seems like everybody's gonna have to go back to uh, their own people, to their own tribe, you know? As we've seen it in the past, you know, with the Depression, World War II, as things become more and more unstable, people will want to uh, group together, you know, in their same religion, in their same uh, bands. I mean, it just seems like globalism, multicultural, culturalism, all this stuff is just failing. You know, and I'm, I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong. I mean, you know, you could say globalism is terrible, but really, like, if you look over the past 30 40 years has been the most prosperous times that we've ever had in the, all of uh, humanity. You know, and I know it's not perfect. And uh, like I said, I can understand a lot of the reasons why we're going back towards a more, more local control. You know, and it almost seems like we could go back, you know, things are fragmenting so much now. Look at England. They separated now. Probably Northern Ireland's going to separate from them. Scotland's going to separate from them. You know, you could, you could almost see where it's just going to become the return of the city-state where you'll have, like, huge cities that, are, that have walls and, uh, you know, they just have localized trade. Everybody's suspicious of each other. I mean, feudalism, something like that. I mean, we're almost – you could see a, a return to that. I don't know. It's kind of scary. It just seems like the – everything that we, we, we relied on, the old world order, it's all breaking down. I mean, England was a pillar of stability and – uh it just seems like they've just lost their minds over there. I mean, I can really see, like, uh, things really breaking down over the next year, couple of years. The world order severely changing, you know. And, I mean, the Bible talks about that, that it's just going to become total chaos. You can just see it. Like, uh, nobody knows where to turn anymore.